Hey guys, thank you for downloading the Creative Color Grading Packs. I'm going to walk you through how to install these to work with Adobe Camera Raw. And this installation method will also work for Lightroom if you're using a version 7.5 or older. If you're using 7.5 or newer, we have another video of how to simply install that for Lightroom. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is open up a file explorer. And in here, we want to go to this PC, and really what we're trying to locate is our C drive. So go to your C drive, and then here, you want to go to users. Now my username is RGG, whatever your computer's username is, is the folder you want to go to. So I'm going to go to RGG. Now here's the tricky part. In here, we're looking for a folder that is usually hidden in Windows, so we actually have to unhide that before we go any further. So again, we're on our C drive, users, whatever your username is, and then from here, we want to go to view, and then you want to check this box that says hidden items. And when I do that, you'll see an extra folder pop up called app data. That's the folder we want to go to. And here we want to click roaming, Adobe, camera raw, settings. Now you might see some stuff in here, that's fine, you can just leave that for now. But that is where you want to go. If you need to see that file structure again, it should be right here. So that's C drive, users, your username. You have to unhide app data, and then you go to app data, roaming, Adobe, camera raw, settings. Now once you're there, I'm going to open up my downloads folder. Now I'm looking at the master collection with all of the XMPs in here. So there's 100 XMP files. You may have downloaded one individual pack. Um, either way, what we want to install is those XMP files. So I'm going to take these and highlight all. I'm going to click one and hit Control A, and that highlights all of them. Now here's another important step. You could technically just drag these into this folder. But because we're just moving folders, it'll actually take them out of your original download folder. So once you have them all highlighted, what you want to do is copy and then paste them into this folder. And now that those are all in there, I can close out of both of these windows. And I'm going to open up Photoshop. Cool. Now I'm going to open up a raw file to demonstrate the profiles. Click open. I have the picture of handsome Seth McCullough in raw format. Cool. Now in here, if we did all that right, when we go to profile, Adobe profile is the default. You want to drop that menu down and click browse. I'm going to close favorites for now. And then you can see down here each individual pack is broken down with 10 profiles within them. So even though in our master collection, we have all those XMP files in there, it actually breaks them down. We designed those to when you install them, it breaks them down into their individual folders. So you can go through each pack and then look at the profiles within there. Now I'm gonna open up Cocaine Roller Derby because that's the coolest name. And you can just see instant previews by hovering over each profile. And then when you see something you want to work with, you can just click that, and that applies the profile. And then right here, we just have an intensity slider. So I'm going to go to Cocaine Roller Derby, because that's my favorite one. And you'll see instant previews as you hover over each profile. And then when you see something you like, you can just click it. That applies the profile, and then you have an intensity slider right here. Now I'm going to get out of here and go into Lightroom to show you that once we installed it the way I showed you at the beginning of this video, that they should show up in Lightroom as well. Cool. So we have Lightroom open, and we want to go to the Develop module. And then over here on the side, you want to drop down the Basic menu. And then right here under Profile, you drop that down, click Browse. And then we have all 10 packs right here again. Same story. Each pack is broken up into 10 different profiles. Drop one down, instant previews, just by hovering over each one. Click to apply, and then your intensity slider is right here.